And so you've had trials and tribulations, but you've had success. When we look at this, obviously we have 4,500 people last year. We got 12,000 this year. People would see this like, obviously this is successful. From your viewpoint, from your illustrious career, what's the key to success though? Here's, here's what happens. Because of Instagram now and social media, you see these highlight reels of each other and you see uh, a person showing their best bag, their best shoe, their best pose, and it's usually on their best filter. What I wish the younger generation would pick up is the work ethic that actually has to happen. See, the key to being successful is planting. You've got to plant. Now, when you plant seeds, young people, you can't expect the harvest in 30 days. The harvest don't come in 30 days. You got to plant your seed, and sometimes the harvest don't come for years. Everything is not instant. So here's what I do. I get a row and I drop seeds in the ground. Then I go back and I cover them up with dirt because the dirt, you need the dirt. Then once I cover it up, I dig another row and I plant some more seeds. I got about 10 rows planted. I look back at the first row and it's starting to sprout. Some stuff starting to come out the ground. I don't go back to that first row and just start eating because it ain't really bearing no fruit right now. You can't eat the stalks and the leaves. You gotta wait till it bear fruit. In the meantime, you got to keep planting. Now, you gonna look up in about five years, you gonna look back at something you planted five years ago, gonna have a lot of fruit on it. Then you can go back and start partaking of that fruit. But the reason you gotta keep planting is because sometimes you gonna get rained out. Sometimes it's gonna be a drought. Sometimes, man, the pesticides slash haters is gonna do what they do to your planted crops. Now, you got to mentally be prepared for that. But the planting process can never stop. If I can tell anybody anything, keep planting seeds and never stop planting because you have no idea when God gonna drop all the necessary rain and you look up and everything. Man, it's crazy, man, on um, watching that video right now, man. Obviously, I'm looking back to my decision to start planting seeds, man. Um, I've been working since I was 19 years old, so I've been working on skills. And you may think planting seeds is, is, is entrepreneurship only. It's investing into a business. It's starting a business, right? I was planting seeds working at Taco Bell. I was planting seeds, man. I worked at Circuit City. I was planting seeds on personal development, sales skills, talking to strangers, approaching people. I was terrified to talk to people, man. At Circuit City, I would have to approach a customer and ask them, hey, do you need any help? That was hard for me to do. I got better at it. I was planting seeds with customer engagement or articulating myself, having conversations with people. Man, I was planting seeds when I worked at Tech Systems, closing big deals or working with accounts and account management and talking to CTOs and all that kind of stuff. I was, closing, I was, I was planting seeds. And if I made a choice to go into entrepreneurship, I was planting seeds. It's crazy because you plant these seeds and you look back. I'm a millennial. In my generation at times, one seeds fast, right? It took me some time to plant seeds and to watch the seeds grow over the next nine years to establish what I've established now in business. But guess what? Like he said, there's ups and downs in business. There's storms, things get washed out. And I meet so many people that plant a row of seeds and stop. Or they plant a row of seeds, they come back a year later, ah, it, doesn't, it doesn't work. And they stop planting seeds and they settle for whatever they can get in life. Man, I'm gonna keep planting seeds in life, man. I'm gonna keep planting seeds in my marriage, planting seeds in relationships, in my faith walk, in my, in my, in my health. Right now I'm working out pretty, pretty rigorously, man. I'm working out four, three, four days a week. Uh, working out strong, lifting heavy, deadlift, squat, all that stuff. I'm planting seeds for my health. I'm gonna look back when I'm in my 40s and say, man, Chris, thank you for working out in your late 30s, going into your 40s because now you got the endurance, you got the muscle mass, you got the lean muscle mass, your metabolism's a little faster, you can burn fat easier. I'm planting seeds. So the question for you is this, what seeds are you planting in your life today? What seeds are you planting in your marriage? What seeds are you planting when it comes to business? Your personal skills, development skills. When's the last time you've been to a conference? Yeah, a personal development conference. Have you been to one before? What books are you reading? What seeds are you planting into yourself now because you're gonna look back 10, 15, 20 years from now and go back to, and look for that harvest. When the harvest is not there, ask the question, did I plant seeds? So right now, if you're saying, man, Chris, I stopped planting seeds. Man, I tried something, it didn't work. I had a failed marriage, it didn't work. 
Man, I, me and my mom and dad don't talk anymore, man. We have a fair relationship, man. I had a business, man. I went under. I saw plenty of seeds. Like, you watch the video, man. This is a very successful man, Steve Harvey. You gotta keep, keep planting roses seeds until you die. Until you're gone, man. Because those seeds reap a harvest not only for you, but for the next generation. And so I wanna challenge you to get back on your feet, dust yourself off, keep planting seeds, keep doing it. Don't be patient. It may take more than a year, it may take two years, it may take four or five. But as you're patient, it's inevitable. At some point in time, when you plant seeds on, on, on the harvest, on, on the right soil, it's going to sprout. And when it sprouts, it's going to grow. And it's going to take time, and you're going to have the tree, the branch come out, and it'll start bearing fruit based off the patience and time you give it.